Good Sunday morning. Yes, I'm on a bit of a Julia Child kick. I think the whole world is at the moment. What do we have here? We have an AC Fabricators Incorporated Gardena, California Gourmet Omelette Pan. I think this is circa late 60s. I'm not sure. It's very difficult to find information about AC Fabricators Incorporated. I found this by accident, but there was there's another one with a wood handle. They wanted 79. I think I paid 29 for this. Where are we going? Where are we going with this? Oh. Okay, so apparently this appears to be very much a clone of the pot shop of Boston's omelet pan, which currently sells for like $149. Why do I say that? Because the bottom looks nearly identical to the Pot Shop of Boston's omelet pan. This design looks like theirs. Now, the handle is not. It is said that Julia Child, with the Pot Shop of Boston, helped create the omelet pan. She did an omelet show where she totally disses this pan. It does not look like the modern versions. She showed two on that show. The first one had a wood handle, a very, very straight wood handle, not like the lathed ones that you see today. Solid piece of aluminum. She called it a status pan. She also said that it was way overpriced and that the sides might not be high enough. You want like a two inch. But she really disses them in the show. She just kind of puts it aside. She liked the older ones, which were early versions of the status pan. She liked those. I think the aluminum was thinner. They were riveted. And the handles looked like Bakelite. I would love to find one of those. Supposedly, the original pans were made out of old torpedo tube tips that were the perfect shape for an omelet pan. Apparently, she had a falling out with them because of the price. This is all, you know, supposedly. Anyway, I saw this omelet pan. It looked to be very good condition. Looks like someone did cook in here, but there are very few scratches. I think that's going to clean up beautifully. The bottom, we do have a bunch of scratches, but it's clean, so we can really clean this up. On eBay, you can find AC Fabricators aluminum serving steak plates. These thick aluminum plates that you serve a hot sizzling steak on. You can still find those new. That might be fun to have. Let's clean her up. It should be quick. And um, maybe we'll try to make an egg. I don't know. See you soon. Good scratches going on here. First, we're going to use Mother's Mag. There's some scratches in this we're not going to get out. That's okay, she'll be shiny. That's pretty. The 
Williams, who will be making a Julia Child roast chicken. Everyone's done it. I have never cooked a whole chicken in my life. It should be fun. We'll be using an old Magnolite roasting pan. We'll talk about the vintage cookware on, on her. It's like her second or third episode. Don't quote me. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty shiny. Oh, boy. Oh, the top of that is nice. I am likely to wipe this down with a brand new Brillo pad. Let's just see what we have under, under those cooking marks. A little bit more. Sometimes Barkeeper's Friend works better. We may use it. it doesn't get those cooking marks off. So we still... We still have some cooking stains. A barkeeper's Friend, if you don't know, is great for taking out those rainbow stains on your stainless steel. Sometimes that's a little bit that's a little bit rainbow. Let's try a little barkeeper's friend. I might just take them right off. Much better. That is much better. Barkeeper's friend did a good job. Still a little staining around the edge here. So we're gonna do this another little staining around here. Bottom looks very nice. Ne'er a scratch. Ne'er? Hardly a scratch. Very nice, very nice. There's just something about making an old pan look nice and shiny again. That is looking really nice in there. Wow. That's pretty cool. I'm still going to rub it with a Brillo pad. I don't know if there are tiny little bumps and valleys left over from years of whatever. So we're just gonna do, we're gonna do a quick wipe. Thank you, Waffle House, for teaching me this. You're essentially smoothing down that surface. All right. You can use Mother's Mag in here, but you just have to make sure you wash it completely out. I think I'm gonna use some of this inside. Just make sure that you wash it out. It'll make this shine. And we can polish the rim too. This is going to turn very dark before it turns shiny. This is such a beautiful pan. I mean, the inside is so scratch-free that this, this should look really beautiful when you polish it up. See if we can make the handle shine. Ooh. 
Oh yeah. That's gonna be pretty. If this is from the 60s, you're taking off years of oxidation. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. That's gonna be a pretty handle. I'm happy with this. There's some crud on the bottom here. Get in the ridges. The corners of the ridges. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, this is going to be a beautiful handle, man. Very nice. Come on! Crap! Oh, I don't have the courage! That's right! I chickened out! I'm not used to this pan yet. We're pumping up the heat. We're pumping up the heat! I'm not ready to do an omelet! You can't make me! You can't make me make an omelet yet. <laughs> I don't know this pan yet. It's heavy. Ow! Oh, hey. Note to self. Don't touch that aluminum thingy. Wow. Ooh. Hey. Burn my hand. Do it. Mm. That's a lot of butter. Hey, I burned my hand. I didn't see that coming. Ow! Wait till it stops bubbling. And go. That's nice. Don't touch that metal. Very nice. Hey. Mmm. Little cooked yolk right there. Oh, that's a better one. Let's try that yolk. On principle. There we go. Mmm. Get some yolk. Mmm. Oh, that is beautiful. Thanks for joining me this Monday. Hmm. You know what I'm going to say. 
Thanks for watching.